Hi, I'm Robin Davis. I love to entertain, but I hate not being able to spend time with my guests. So today I want to show you how to make a dish that's great to do ahead and then you can just pop it in the oven. We're going to make stuffed shells and we're going to stuff them with a mixture of sausage and spinach and cheese. So I went ahead and got some of that cooked. I cooked a little bit of onion, a little bit of garlic, and then some Italian sausage that I took out of the casing and I just put it into the skillet. And then I threw in some chopped spinach. So we have all of this and then of course we need cheese. I'm going to use ricotta cheese and I'm using a whole milk ricotta. Uh, you could definitely use part skim, but I'd stay away from the low fat because I don't think that it tastes very good and fat free for me is definitely out. All right, and then I'm going to use a little bit of mozzarella as well. But I'm going to save some of this because we're going to put it on the top. This looks terrific. And then I just want to make sure it's well seasoned, so I'm going to do a little salt and a little pepper. Now the first thing we want to do is get a little bit of sauce in the bottom of our pan. I made a really quick sauce, just crushed tomatoes, garlic and olive oil, a little bit of pepper flakes. But here's a trick. You could use, if you have a great sauce that you love that you can buy at the supermarket, then use it by all means. We just want a little bit on the bottom. And then we're ready to get started with our shells. Once the shells are filled, just put them with the opening side up right here in the sauce. And we're going to pack them in so close together that they're not going to fall over. Now one final step here, or really two, we're going to put the rest of our sauce over the top. And don't be afraid to get it down into those shells because it's going to make it delicious. All right. And then we'll put a little bit more of the mozzarella on top. But here is the secret. Once you get this part done, you can cover it with foil and you can put it in your refrigerator until about 30, 40 minutes before you want to eat. So you can be completely done and get to enjoy your guests and then just throw this in in time for dinner. But I want to go ahead and cook this to show you exactly what it looks like when it comes out. We are going to put it in a 350 degree oven and it will take 20 to 30 minutes for the cheese to melt and for it to get nice and bubbly. So look at that. That is our stuffed shells with sausage and spinach. Now I get to try it. The cheese is all melted. The sauce is nice and bubbly. Our filling is still hot. And I got to visit with my guests while I got this in the oven. So let's see how it tastes. Mmm. It's so good. It's so satisfying. And it really will feed a crowd. So there you go. A meal that's easy to put together for a whole bunch of people. And you can find the recipe at dispatch.com food.